Let's explain the bonding of uh, xenon tetrafluoride using the concept of hybridization. For this, uh, first of all, xenon, the central atom, being a noble gas. So we know its uh, valence electrons are eight. Now, out of eight, four valence electrons are shared with fluorine by forming a covalent bond. So therefore, there will be two pair of electrons around it. So as a result, if we count total number of bonds around xenon, then it is equal to 4. Therefore, we need 4 half-filled orbitals. in xenon in order to form four covalent bonds. Now, let's talk about how many hybridized orbital do we need uh, around xenon. So for that, we always count the total number of sigma bonds which is four, lone pairs which is two. So this total is six. So that means we need six hybridized orbitals. Now, let's see xenon in its ground state. 5s2, 5p6. So therefore, it is completely filled configuration in its ground state. But we know xenon uh, have vacant d orbitals. So this is 5s, 5p and this is 5d. Now because of vacant d orbitals, xenon can move in the excited state, but before that we have to see that how many half-filled orbitals xenon needs. So we have already calculated it needs four half-filled orbitals because it wants to form four covalent bonds around it. So for that purpose, we need four half-filled orbitals. So we'll just shift the electrons of 2p, sorry, 5p in 5d orbital so that we can see it is excited state 1 and excited state 2 as a result of which we have got the situation in which xenon is having four half filled orbitals right so now you see with these four half filled orbitals it, it is able to form four covalent bonds but the thing is, these uh, orbitals are not of same energy and same shape. So before bonding with the fluorine, they need to redistribute their energy and mix into each other. Right? So we'll talk about the hybridization. So for this hybridization, we have seen that we need how many hybridized orbitals to accommodate four to form four bonds and two lone pairs. So we need six hybridized orbitals so that is why it is s three orbitals of p and two orbitals of d so as a result six atomic orbitals are mixing together so we have got six sp3 d2 hybridized orbital and all of them you can see these orbitals the first two are fully filled and the other four are half filled so that means these will be used to carry the lone pairs and these four will be used to form four sigma bonds around xenon. So as a result, let's talk about the shape. Here we have sp3d2 hybridization. That means around xenon, we have four sigma bonds and two lone pairs. So that means uh, it will be having a skeleton of octahedral with four fluorine taking four corners of the sphere plane in the octahedral and two lone pairs above and below the plane of fluorine so this is the shape so shape the name of the shape we can call it square planar right so this is how we can explain the bonding in xenon tetrafluoride along with its shape using the concept of hybridization